All right, so we've created the property. Let's go ahead and personalize this a little bit uh, with, uh, with that proper, some property information. So I'm gonna click the gear here beside the uh, property portal and I'll go back in, into editing the property. Now you had the units and you can uh, upload your units, but what about the look and feel of that property? So let's click that tab here and I'm gonna go ahead and edit the look and feel. And within uh, the tenant portal that you saw, you know, you had things like uh, tenant portal static text. Let's actually change a lot of this and provide some information for those tenants. So I'm gonna change the title to the Austin property building. I can provide a subtitle such as connect to awesome Wi-Fi. Any announcements I want to put, I can make these available here. So, um, you know, elevator on service during. Any extra help text I want to, I can use, I, I can make it available here as well. And then we can customize the portal for uh, different colors as well, as well as a logo. So I had a, a ruckus uh, logo available. Let's go ahead and provide a new logo. It's gonna choose this logo here. And then let's actually change some colors to maybe match what's happening uh, with the logo as well. So the main color I'm gonna modify, also gonna modify the accent color as well. And then also separator text color will be available to be uh, changed. Now, any changes that you make here are automatically updated into the uh, tenant portal. So there's no need to push the configuration in, in any sort of way. As soon as I click on save, the uh, tenants portals are automatically updated. So let's go ahead and click on save. And we're gonna click on units here. And we're gonna actually go into Selena's unit so previously I went to notifications to get that, but as an ES administrator, if you click the magnifying glass beside the unit, you can actually see the tenant portal um, URL that's available here with the token down below, as well as a QR code. So if you did want to uh, give this to the tenant, uh, you could print that QR code off and they could scan it with their phone and they can uh, immediately access their tenant portal. So let's click on this link here and you can actually see um, that there is different colors available here and the accent colors and the main colors have changed to match uh, something similar so now I've got awesome logo connect to the awesome Wi-Fi with the units names and this is all modern UI now so um, I can go ahead and uh, this will shrink properly to um, any page that uh, that you're also showing it perhaps on an iPhone or an Android device. This will automatically resize for those devices. I can see that my announcements are available here. Any of the help text that I enabled would be available here. And then providing the end user with some ability to modify their own profile. So, you know, if they ha get a new phone or a new email address or they want to actually get their portal URL QR code here, or even uh, change their authentication token, they can do that as well. And once you make changes such as changes to your passphrase um, or changes to your portal access, the end users emailed and SMS their uh, that new information automatically through CloudPath. So if I go ahead and I change the portal uh, QR code, I can click on change here. Now I get a message saying that they've uh, don't have, no longer has access to the site. And in CloudPath, if I go back down to notifications, I can actually see that the portal access has been reset. And here is your new uh, your new um, URL with new token behind it. So if I click on this, and now I go back to their portal, I now have access to it. 